All right, guys, here we go. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is find the app icon so that we can open the Logic app up, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to the bottom and scroll through these apps and find Logic Pro. In this case, mine is right here. If you don't see it right here, that's okay. There's another way to open it. I'm gonna show you. So all you have to do is look on your keyboard, somewhere on the top of the keyboard toward the left, you're gonna see a button with four, with six squares and it should say F4. So you're gonna click on that F4 button. That's gonna bring you to this page, which is the apps page and you're looking for Logic Pro. Okay, in my case, it's right here, see it? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the Logic Pro icon Boom, and then we're gonna get this window. If you don't see this window, when you click on that icon, look down at the bottom. If you see the app icon and a dot under it, sometimes the dot is black, sometimes it's white, okay? That dot means that this app is open. But if you don't see this window, you can simply go up to File, go to New, and this will open up this window right here. Uh, you need to put this in your notes. Command N is the shortcut to open a brand new session. Okay. So now that we're on this window, we're going to choose empty project and we're going to go down here to choose and we're going to click choose. So now you should see this window right here. This is what I call garage band mode. It's not in logic pro mode yet. So we're just gonna click on this microphone icon. We're gonna go down to create, and we're gonna click create. Now that's gonna bring up your first session, okay? Here's the session, but it's not in pro mode yet. So we need to get your pro features going. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So all you need to do is go up here to where it says Logic Pro. You're gonna click on that. Then we're gonna go down to preferences. Once you get to preferences, you're gonna go to the side right here and you're looking for this tab, Advanced. You wanna click on Advanced. That's gonna bring up this window. Now what you need to do is, you see where it says Enable Complete Features? Right here. The box next to that, you wanna click on that box. All right? Now that box should be checked off. Now Logic is in Pro Mode. Now you have access to all of the pro features in logic okay so we're gonna go right here we're gonna close this out and then the next thing we need to do is we need to set up our sample rate for when we are working okay so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go up to file click on file you're gonna go all the way down to project settings once you get to project settings you're looking for the audio tab, which is right here. You wanna click on audio. That's gonna bring up this page. Now look, you already know what this is, right? You know what a sample rate is. You know what the dynamic range of each sample rate is. Here we are, and we see that this is 44.1, right? But we're gonna be working in 48K pretty much all the time. So we're gonna click right here where it says 44.1. You're gonna go down to where it says 48 kilohertz or 48K right here, and you're gonna click on that. Now your session is in 48K. All right, so once you've done that, don't worry about spatial audio. We'll talk about this later. And yes, yeah, so all you have to do is go back to this red button right here. Click on that. There you go. Now the last thing we wanna do in this part right here is we wanna go up to file. Then we wanna go down to where it says save as template. All right, we wanna click on that. That's gonna bring up this window right here. Now what you wanna name this is, you wanna name this McGavick Audio Start. Or you can put your name Start, All right? So McGavick Audio Start, it's gonna go into Project Templates. And then we're gonna hit Save. All right. So now that we've hit save, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna quit Logic. There are two ways to quit Logic. You can either go up here to where it says Logic Pro X and then go here and go to quit, 
Pro, Logic Pro, or you can use the shortcut, which is Command Q. You're gonna need to know that. So put that in your notes. Command Q is the shortcut for quitting Logic. So I'm gonna hit Command. Um, I'm gonna hold Command and tap the letter Q one time. That's gonna ask me if I wanna save this, and you should just hit Don't Save, because we're just setting Logic up. Anyway, guys, get that done. If you didn't follow along, you need to go back, watch the video again, follow along step by step, get that set up, and then come back for another video. Thank you, guys.